I'm starting my life over with just a truck and a chainsaw, reviving my lifelong dream of running a successful cattle farm. It's going to be hard work, but we won't take this second chance for granted. I'm excited to share this journey with you as we go from rags to riches. Welcome to Cattle Ranch. Welcome to year three of Cattle Ranch. We are taking care of the cows right now, making sure they have enough food. And oh man, this tractor's loud. But we gotta get these these cows fed. We got already, yeah, it's into it without me. We already got their water added. We need to move milk around at some point today and check on the food on the Holstein cows as well. But we wanted to get this one going. They were just about out of food. We almost messed up royally there. And then it's time to harvest the wheat or barley. I can't remember what it is over there. Let's go find out. Heading on over, loving the new paths, the new everything. Oh, this is so great. Let's turn around here. Let's go on our road. This is like we got a little bit of weeds growing in the soybeans, but we can take care of that later on. And we do have barley to harvest, so we can get some, some straw as well as barley for selling. And let's see how good this harvest is. I'm hoping it's pretty good. Somewhat of a smaller field compared to the one to our left. Some of the things we're gonna talk about in this year is expanding the cattle operation. And we're in talks with some contractors right now to build us a facility for mixing the food so that then we can transfer it to the other, to each location where the cows are at. You know, that is one big chore that is hard to do on my own with the amount of uh, field work that we have going on. So somewhat similar to the productions that we're automating and don't really have to pay attention to. Besides, you know, adding some, some logs to the sawmill. We're gonna want to figure out how to do the same with the cattle. We, we really want to expand that operation this year. And one of the keys is gonna be figuring out how to really automate their food. So we wanna get some automatic TMR mixers that we can just add inventory to. We can add the silage, we can add the, the hay and the straw, and it can automatically mix it to the right ratio for us. So we're, we have some blueprints going. We should have a facility hopefully in the next few months. And then at that point, I'll feel confident in, in buying a lot more cattle so that we can make sure we're confident in taking care of them. So that's the plan. Let's get this harvested. We also, gosh, we want to prepare the old canola or sorghum. I can't remember what was on that field. We got some, we got a lot to do around the farm and the grass is ready as well. We might call in some contractors to take care of the grass for us while we finish this harvest and prepare the other field. But it's looking very busy. We wanted more fields. We wanted to make sure we had lots of work to do to really maximize the profits of the operation here. So let's do it. Got our first hopper full on the combine. So we're gonna go head over there and empty it out. The yield seems to be pretty good. It's, uh, I was kind of hoping not to get around this entire field without having to empty it, but we almost got around it twice, about one and a half times around. So that's a little disappointing yield wise, but it should be good. This is all profit here. We don't have anything but use for this, but selling it. We don't have chickens or anything to feed it to, so we'll get this emptied out and we'll continue going. Yeah, looking good, look at that. I love the look of those sheds up there now. Very nice. All emptied and we're back at it. It's gonna be very cool. We're gonna get to use the new silos today and I wanna look into possibly swapping out the tanks that we put down, the placeable tanks there that have seed in them and lime as well as fertilizer. I got the ones I wanted installed. So we might, we might make that change. We'll get this field done and figure out what's next and make sure, I don't know. I lost what I was gonna say. Let's get this done. Ah, oh, our worker missed a little bit. We'll have to give them a stern talking to on the radio after this, but we're gonna get this emptied out. We're gonna go use the new silo, even though this isn't full yet. I'm just, I'm really excited to, to just try it out. We'll see how that worker's doing in a few, but yeah, let's head over, let's try this new silo and make sure we gave ourselves enough room to drive around here and use it. Seems like we need another little slip road over here to, yeah, right here. So that's something we can keep in mind in the future. Over time, this is gonna get worn out and 
that'll be a natural little path back to the road. That was a nice route that we took to loop around. So yeah, this is going in here. So now we should have barley and sorghum. Very nice piece of equipment here. It's like we can have four different different crop types in there. Should be plenty for us. There it goes, nice dropping in. Let's head back and hopefully that worker hasn't uh, caused too much damage over there. Oh, well, they missed a little bit more. I don't understand why they're doing that, but it seems like they're in a good spot now. We can clean up the rest later. And scoot over here. Uh, about pretty good timing. Looks like it's about half full. Harvest is coming along nice. I think we'll get something prepped to do the spraying of the large soybean field while we finish this. Because I think we want to focus on prepping and expanding that, the other field that we haven't really finished yet. Let's see if we can remember where we put stuff. I think we want to go into this first shed here and we can get our sprayer. Should be right around the corner. It is perfect. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room in here for more implements and as we swap out these existing implements for larger ones in the future, plenty of space. All right, let's go see how much we have of herbicide. We'll empty out the fertilizer in here and we'll get to spraying the soybeans field. Drop these ones off right here and let's see. All right, 567, mm, 557 liters to start with. I have a feeling it's gonna go through more than that doing this field, but let's head over there, get started on it and we will check on that after finishing harvest and just make sure that they're good to keep on rolling. All right, let's see, you're gonna be able to do it? Oh yeah, I love that implement. It's a good one. Uh, you're just doing circles? There we go. Get those weeds killed. Talk to you in a few. All right, we'll get this emptied out. They did a pretty good job. We'll hand it back over to a worker, but we'll have to help them out. Let's see, our sprayer is using a lot of herbicide. So we'll have to get more delivered and they're not even around once. Yeah, tank on that's gonna not be good long-term. Another thing we need to upgrade. And they're out, so we went to the store, picked some up. And so let's go ahead and help them out here. Refilled, and then you set the nearest location. But we'll have to get the truck out of the way first. Wow, it's burning through the herbicide. It looks like we might wanna back them up a little bit too. And then, there we go. There we go, thought I broke the game. Nearest location on your way. And we will have the truck over here. We'll get it out of the way a little bit to fill them up next time. How's this harvest going? Slow on the turnarounds, aren't you? Yeah, we could have gone a different way with that. Probably finish it ourselves, so it would have been better. And another harvest all done. We got 68% in the hopper. Let's go drop it off into the trailer so we can put it away. Next, we'll have to check on the sprayer. I'm sure they probably ran out of product by now. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. They're still going. Nice, nice, nice. And this looks like a safety protocol thing here. Let's go ahead and turn this on and lower these guys down there. That's a much better. Yep, no one's poking their eye out now. All right, I got that all put in the silo. Now we have, yeah, 30, almost 34,000 almost 40,000 liters of barley. Get the trailer put away and then we will be looking into a little something to finish preparing the new field. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, got a little something we need to purchase. All right, $44,000 spent. We bought a skid steer and we might not have it long-term. We will see, but we also got this hydraulic breaker here. What we're hoping is it's strong enough to break the stones in the sorghum field. So let's go ahead and raise that up a little bit. Take it on back home. Nice looking skid steer. Maybe we will keep it. We can find uses for it. Should have brought the truck and the trailer. It would have been a lot faster. I originally thought it would be entertaining, nice, enjoyable to harvest and have a field around these stones. After doing it once, not so much. I have no clue if this works on this map. Well, let's find out. It doesn't seem to work. What does this work on then? Maybe that one's too big. It doesn't work. Is it working? It's not working. Just in case, let's try this. Does not seem to be compatible with no man's land. We'll sell. So we lost a little bit of money doing that, but uh, it was a good experiment. So rocks stay, unless I install other mods to take care of them, which 
we might be doing that. Well, the spraying is all done, so now we can start focusing on that sorghum field. We're gonna get it all cultivated up and finalized, and it's time to figure out what kind of crop we wanna put in there. So I'm thinking about adding Terraform to this game so I can Terraform away those rocks. I'll have to do a test outside or, you know, I'll do a test off camera to see if we can figure that out on this map or if we do have to cut the sign down to get rid of all stones and I don't really want to get rid of all the large rocks on this map so we might just live with it but I'll do a little more experimenting in the next few weeks now did we pull far enough over to get this out uh it doesn't look like it it doesn't look like it all right so we needed to blend these two fields together how do we want to go about that let's go about right here we'll back up this lowered and we want to allow field so let's test that real quick yes okay so now if we turn this way hug around this tree here and do a little something like that oh those trees need to go right here no need for these two go Try to blend this in a little bit better. Like so. Let's go ahead and lift here. And yeah, wrap around. Get this spot. Didn't seem to take the first route. Maybe a bump there. Like so. And we'll close out the little bit here. Nice. Yep, just a little bit more to do and another stone to deal with. Mm, regrets and this side over here we wanted to blend together as well so we'll lower it here and we'll start turning in try to angle right to that spot there very nice got just a little bit more to clean up we're gonna leave a lot of the grass around the rock i think and just deal with it that way yeah we'll just leave it like that we'll get this spot up here and i think there's one behind us yeah we need to clean up then at that point we probably need to lime this field and that's gonna be expansive now i'm kind of interested to see what course play can do about this we're gonna go ahead and let it cultivate this entire field oh turn no nope, no nope, stop 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 oh damage done we want to limit fields and now go ahead perfect It'll be interesting to see what comes of this when it gets around the rocks. But we'll let them go for a while. Best of luck to you. All right, we're going to get in the field, boss. And there's an item that is worth a decent amount of money that we can get rid of. And I want to purchase something. I want to get those contractors here. Yeah, let's get the field, boss. So since we bought this other Massey Ferguson bail wrapper here, we don't need the other one. So we can make sure if we're going to wrap anything, we're going to use that baler. So let's grab the wrapper and we'll head to the store and we'll get that sold. And that'll give us a little bit of cash to potentially get these contractors in uh, for what we've been talking about. I decided to give myself back the money for selling the equipment or buying that equipment and the money we lost because it was a little bit of an experiment so now we should be pretty even if we look here uh, we gave ourselves twenty thousand dollars we spent a hundred thousand so we're pretty even now all right and let's see what we can get for this and we'll go ahead and repair it we'll do the we'll do the whole song and dance here forty thousand dollars get that sold we're sitting at a hundred and thirty four thousand that should be helpful I was worried we'd have to sell some products when they weren't at top price to do what we want to do today, but we should be okay. Let's get home, get those contractors on the phone, and get this done. Okay, that should be good. Go into productions, factories. We are going to use, I can find it, the field products factory. And I want to turn it somewhat this way. There we go. All right, $16,000 still to our name. So what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to bring all of our silage and hay over and it's going to turn it into TMR for us. So let's get the trailer loaded with the first set and hopefully it's compatible with the type of silage we have. That was one of my concerns with having some mods on this game. All right, go ahead and load these ones on up and test it out hopefully we can fit under there and i believe our drop-off location is this side and let's find out no warning 
Um, interesting. Let's see. Grab this. Well, okay. That's not working. Grass silage. Doesn't say it's not accepted. What the deuce? Input. Whole crop silage. What the hell is whole crop silage? So I've disabled maze plus and I'm going to add all the silage back that we had because it's a different type of silage. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Farm products, I think. We'll do one. We'll see how many. This is six. Okay. Let's do the math. I had 120,000 liters. 120,000, yeah, approximately. We'll do some math here. 120,000 divided by 6,500, so roughly 18 bales. And the reason we're adding them back is because when I deactivated that mod, they disappeared because they're not compatible or they're a special type for it. And so this is where I don't understand what this is wanting. So it doesn't want this either. Oh gosh, what the hell do you want? Oh my goodness. It's been a day. It's been a day already. Okay, so the production inputs, let's look at that for TMR is silage. It says silage. And what, what are you? You are silage. So why are you not accepting? Okay, let's grab some hay. This is gonna be a fun episode. Will you go in there? Is this mod just broken? Can't put bales in it? Oh, we missed some concrete there. All right, let's see. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna do a little experiment. Cause I think we need this as loosened up. I don't think this accepts bales. Yes, so now we can input the hay. Okay, so let's do that. We we'll get all that hay put in and then we'll put this silage in here and figure this out. We'll figure this out. So we will start using a forage wagon in, instead of bales, which is actually kind of nice. TMR, we will activate that. And it should produce plenty for us. So silage we have in here, good amount. Yeah, already 412. It's going to bust through this hay real fast. So we'll get this fully populated and report back. Oh, what a frustrating episode. I have these every once in a while. I don't do research before recording and I just wing it, but it's kind of fun. I like leaving it in here. I like to watch or show the process and not everything in this game is just smooth sailing. And we make it look like that on YouTube a lot, but it's not. So now we have 145,000 liters of hay and 98,000 liters of silage, which has already turned into 37,000 liters of TMR. Let's loop around. We're going to pick up some TMR and we're going to feed some cows. But then we're going to make some changes to the equipment we have because we don't need some of it and we need some different things for this. Get this unloaded here. And they were just about out of food, so we just got here in time. Yeah, your capacity is not enough. We might modify this. We might modify this mod because this only holds 9,000 liters and I want more in here. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and stop that. We'll have to do all that ourselves. It drew the course play showing it, circling it, and driving around it, but it's it's not. So, ooh, frustrating day. All right, we've leased some equipment. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it, though. Open that up and close this. And we'll see if this does the trick. Let's 
seems to just be mad. Remove material. Let's see. Let's open this menu. Rate. Oh, oh, nope. Lower, flatten, smooth. Lower, maybe? There we go. We were just being silly, so now, now it's fighting with the controls. Ah. Okay. Is it actually removing the stone? No. Let's go to the smaller one. Okay, so what I think it's doing is removing the dirt around it and turning it into rocks. I don't think it's actually getting rid of the stone. And it's just lowering the terrain around it. So let's try a different mode here. Flatten. Not really doing anything either. It's just ruining our field. All right. Well, that was a good experiment. And this episode's probably going to be running somewhat long with all these experiments that we've been doing. But I, it's it's fun. And I kind of wanted to take a little bit of time here to kind of explain if you're new to the channel and you're, you're stuck around at this point. What the heck is this guy doing? Is probably what you're wondering. Um, I like to show the good and bad. I don't think enough content creators show the bad side of things, at least from what I've seen. And the experiments as we go, it's not like a mod tutorial. This is more me just trying to figure things out and the limitations of this map, I think. I don't think those stones can get removed. If anybody knows how to actually remove them, the Platinum DLC stuff did not work for me. The Terra Farm mod it did not work for me as I've probably shown a lot in this video. But yeah, it's fun. And then the, the, the Maz Plus or Maze Plus mod also kind of change the type of silage we had for the new production over there so we improvised a little bit it is supposed to be a rags to riches or a survival challenge type playthrough so we did refund the money and i just you know re reloaded the game didn't save the last little experiment there because it was an experiment wanted to see what was happening but i've thought through a little bit do we want to just keep this field with these stones i think we do and it's just it adds to the challenge we'll just be a little less uh, a little conservative when it comes to cultivating and planting around there we'll do it like that there see how we'll just leave that alone and that'll that'll make it a little easier when it comes time to planting and cultivating so we'll get this field busted out we will probably gosh need to regroup and get some lime next and get that going and hopefully we have enough time to do that i was hoping to get this field planted this episode so we'll see if we can bust through some of that now that we're done playing around with uh, figuring out some of the future plans here. Uh, but the stones are staying, absolutely. Well, just about done with rolling, and I think everybody who stuck out this episode and stuck out me being a little cranky this episode, the, ex the learning experience is something that I like to show on videos, and I always will. It's just part of me. It's part of the way that I like to play games, the way I like to show the content on YouTube. No matter what channel it is that I'm working on, what game I'm playing, I like to show the failures because I personally, as frustrating as it is to watch sometimes, definitely think it's part of the experiment or, or the experience of, of playing a game really is uh, learning things and the failures. There's just as many failures as there are successes and sometimes us content creators, we just show the good things and I, I definitely like mixing it up. So. Thanks for sticking it out for this episode. We've got it done. We've made some changes on the farm. Next episode, we got some good plans. We're gonna cut some grass. We're gonna pick up some straw. It'll go a lot smoother. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out. I will catch you on the next episode.